And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last deck before Call of the Mountain releases tomorrow. We got one last donation deck to play. We're going to play a Lucian Maokai deck. That looks pretty interesting. It's going to be um, a lot of um, self kill. Like we're going to be killing our own units. Um, if our units die, we have 25 of them die. <laughs> and then we can level up our Maokai. But also, all we need to have is Lucian see either four units or Senna die, and then Lucian will level up as well. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of combining Shadow Isles and um, Demacia together for a nice little aggressive deck. We got our Neverglade Collector draining the enemy Nexus. We got our Harrowing bringing stuff back. It's been an interesting one to try out. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and go play five games. Ranked Q is closed right now, so we're playing in normal. Um, but usually we're playing in ranked, and I, I think my thumbnail maybe says ranked. But it's just, it's just the ranked Q is closed. Waiting for the expansion. Yeah, right? The, the cosmic cards do look really cool. Uh, let's see. Probably want some cheaper things. We'll just try keeping single combat with single combat being an awesome spell. This would be a good time to draw Cursed Keeper. Sure is dark, eh? Cursed Keeper. Darn, it didn't work. It's all in the wrist, see? So we'll save this two spell mana for the single combat. Uh, pretty ugly hand here. <laughs> Just not like it's crazy how this hand could be amazing if we had Curse Keeper, but without or just like you know two drop like that, but without that, our hand looks really poor. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, one card can make such a difference. Okay, well that's... <laughs> that also is some... Um, some desperation as well. Uh, do you think there'll be a good or decent Aurelian Soul Invoke Dragon deck? I would think so. All those cards seem incredibly powerful, so I, I would be surprised if that answer was no. I'd be very surprised if that answer is no. I guess I was supposed to play Maokai first, wasn't I? And then Grizzled Ranger afterwards. Sorry. My bad. I was just kind of talking. So we could use the Blighted Caretaker. Alright, they're just getting some Spectral Riders. The Blessed Isles live through me. Should have done that the opposite way around and play Maokai the first turn and then Grizzled Ranger this turn. So they gotta have a bunch of Hecarims in hand, right? Like how they're just not doing anything. It's gotta be a bunch of Hecarims. That's what we'd certainly expect. The shadow of you accepted what became of us. What was I supposed to do? And we'll block Hecarim with the 3-1 to get 3 damage on it. So the next turn, then Blighted Caretaker. Get some more damage on it. How you doing? May just have my Bark Beast fight the Hecarim. Maybe. Mm. 
All right. Probably good to do this. Probably good to just fight. Um, this will also clear up. Clear up some space. I do like just getting six damage in. No, we do this. Yeah, probably in the future. I mean, I, I think that all all the League of Legends champions will get their cards eventually. It's like our Demacia Gloomtooth. I tire of waiting. Certainly to battle. Blessed vengeance. Yeah, we'll have to see Hamster Bump. We'll have to see what what really happens, you know, with the new set and everything. So our loyal badger bear goes away for doing this. But that's kind of good for me. Because I just want these ephemerals that are going to die with the Neverglade Collector, and then this thing dies, and so that should just be three things dying. And that should be our three damage needed. All right, GG's. Yeah, that's true. New yeah, that's true. Targon does have a bunch of silent stuff. Should be good against um, they who endure. And all Freljord deck. Alright, good curve, Lucian, Senna, Maokai. Looks like they're playing Poros. Again, we would normally play this in ranked, but the ranked ranked is closed right now with um, the ranked season finishing up. And the new one about to start. Harvey sees something through the blinds that she's not too happy about. United, nothing can stop us. That card's good. So of course I wasn't gonna block with Lucian on the little one ones because of Poro snacks.
Well, I'm glad they made that block. I'm glad they didn't kill my Lucian. Realized I probably should have... Uh, let's see. I guess Poro Snacks. Want to block over here? No, we could... Let's... Block here. And they go Snacks. And then I single combat and fight there. Kind of, you know, see if they want to do the whole Poro Snacks thing. No room for doubt. Yeah, we could have played the Vanguard Redeemer and, and drawn a unit, but... Kind of too good with the sapling. Try to take down the 6 6 overwhelm. Nice, Hasselhoff. Yeah, yeah, I do like Garen Dex quite a bit. Alright, did not get rid of the Jubilant Poro. Oh, well, that's just a great card to draw. Poor opponent. That's going to take their 6-3 Overwhelm and turn it into a 1-1. One, one. That is a sad Poro. That is a sad Poro right there. All right, we 2-0. I know, right? That's a sad poor moment if I've ever seen one. Well, that's for sure. Sad Poro. Lucian Maokai. Playing some Puffcap Plunder. We're about to play against. Hmm. I'm gonna keep these. This is it's kind of an awkward hand. We'll see if we find something good to sacrifice to the ravenous butcher. Um, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what the first deck is that I'm going to play. I'm gonna kind of work on that later today. Of putting together some decks and everything. Um, Don't get in my way. Maybe a Lulu deck. Um, but yeah, we're going to be trying stuff with Aurelian Soul. We'll be trying stuff with Lulu. Um, I mean, all the all seven of the champions look pretty sweet. 
Uh, and, and yeah, we're, we'll be playing all of them. Um, that, that's what we're, we're going to be doing all week, of course. Bring in the heat. All right, so we'll take this trade, play the Redeemer, draw a new unit. Our ancestors are watching. Chronicler of Ruins pretty good with Grizzled Ranger. Hmm. Slow down, will you? Curse Keeper is good with Butcher also, but then I don't really do anything with my other two mana. Like I, I mean, I'd save it for uh, Glimpse Beyond, I suppose. That that's a nice omen hawk placement, and I guess I guess because of a Conqueror rune, maybe I shouldn't be even in, attacking with this. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. I mean, Tariq is just going to be a really good support card. Um. Yeah, he says the whole copy of spell in my sport alley feels a bit awkward to build around. But I don't think you need to focus on that too much with uh, Tarek. And I, I will try to get used to saying this card's name. <laughs> yeah, I think I think with Tarek, that's just kind of more of a bonus. So that could be a trap if you try to focus too much on spells that target your own allies. Stop. I should have just purified the Puffcat Peddler this round. There they go. Now, I mean, I'm planning on purifying this thing during combat while they think it's a 4 4. Ooh. Um. So if I play Lucian, I don't get to play Purify. We get two out of three for Lucian level up already. I think I think kind of think we have to play Purify. I think we have to kill this peddler. Wish we had one more mana and we could Purify and Lucian. That's rough that that thing's a five four also. Is Purify better than Lucian? I guess so. Excuse you. What a mushroom help. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I uh, roar. All right, no more, no more extra free puff caps. So they're down to three. Best to play this Glimpse Beyond right now on the 3-2 before we get millions of puff caps. But 
but obviously the three two you know is a lethal attacker so like am i going to get something better than it and i think the answer is likely yes Yeah, you'll get the paint late after. Yeah, the patch late afternoon tomorrow. For me, it'll be about it'll be about one o'clock in the afternoon when the patch goes live. That's why my stream tomorrow is my late stream. I'll be streaming. Um, later tomorrow. Push back the darkness. Where's Sejuani at? Four? Yuck. So we... No! They have Sejuani. Uh... Please don't draw a puff cap. Please don't draw a puff cap. No. This is the only... Sejuani is the only card that would save them. Satwani is the only card that saves them. Darn. I mean, obviously they need a direct damage spell now to frostbite all my stuff, but that's fairly likely. Because that's that's the worst. Oh, that's that's a good idea there, 16 ml. I didn't really think of that. That's a good idea. That's what I should have done. Too bad it's too late now. I should have just cast the glimpse beyond on my 4-3, drawn some cards, draw a puff cap, they frostbite these things, and then I and then I cast that and get new attackers that are not frostbitten. That's not a bad idea. Leave no survivors. Uh, excuse you. I uh, prove your worth. Leave no survivors. What a mushroom help. Candle scouts are never afraid. Been a fun guy. Okay. So they would have had harsh winds. Thing. Born for conquest. That could help out. No ways, no. Nah. Wield your fury. Uh, all right. Well, I have to get really lucky and not draw a puff cap. And there's 51 pop caps and 21 cards. Right, let's mess some folks up. Stupid pre nerfed Fury of the North. No puff cap, no puff cap. Dang. And it was just one puff cap. If that was nerfed Fury of the North, they'd have a 3 4. And we would have stayed alive and we would have won. Nerf Fury of the North would have got us there. It turned out a good thing that we didn't play the Glimpse Beyond because they didn't have a way to frostbite the team. Keep all of these.
So the damage based control deck. Never mind, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> plan. It is quite a lot of Lucians. I was a little worried about that. Definitely thought about single combating this Senna first and just having it die, and so then I had all leveled up Lucians. Yeah, y'all are saying I should have done that. I was definitely considering that and decided not to, thinking that, that this, you know, yeah, I, I don't know, I should have. They're putting a bunch more arachnoid sentries into their deck. Nope. Today we turn the tide of war. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. What's the plan? We shoot them. We could have a bunch of leveled up Lucians. Possibly. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so if I if I would have single combat, they would have just um, ravenous squad before. But all right, definitely gonna do it now. Protect, protect Lucian. I don't really want to play this Lucian as rally because if they kill this Lucian, I want to have a backup Lucian. I like this miss call. <laughs> so I could have blocked. Uh. 
than you see too often. Push back to darkness. All right, so 50-50 shot. This is either Lucian or Grizzled Ranger. Either way, pretty good. Yeah. We can get another attack step with this glimpse beyond. GG. All you need is four Lucians. So yeah, if I would have single combated the the Senna the first time, they would have just let it happen. Dealt two damage to my Lucian, my Lucian would be a 4 1, and then they would Ravenous flock the Lucian. Right? So, like, basically, I would have just wasted my single combat if I would have done it the first time with them having the Ravenous flock. So, good thing we didn't. It's Braum! Hello, Braum. So, plan right now is like turn five, Lucian and Caretaker? Question mark. Uh, later on, where they just kill my Lucian. Everyone bleeds for the right price. It's nothing personal. I wonder what the right price is. Mm. We're going too wide. The rot must be cut away. Is it the I wish I didn't have the second cursed keeper out right now. Wish I would have just saved that as spell mana. It's just blood, darling. Crimson Aristocrat's underrated. Challenge the Bark Beast. Uh. The forest. I still have, I don't have room for this Blighted Caretaker. Okay, so Blighted Caretaker takes up an extra three spots. Hmm. Our ancestors are watching. Yeah, I mean, like, with Lucian or with Neverglade Collector, like, a reason to play the Blighted Caretaker. It is easy, see? Oh. I'll take a dead on 
I wish I didn't play the second Curse Keeper. Who's the Zapper? Want blood? I'll show you some. Stand behind Brom! My sweet little plaything. I think my opponent's gonna be winning this game. We don't have any actual removal spells, do we? I don't think so. No. That doesn't help against a champion. For the Empire. The few for the many. Everyone's a garden. We're so close to leveling up Lucian, so close. Be grateful I even noticed. Kneel before me! Fast turn. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. Bottoms up! Hmm. Alright, I like that. Uh, I don't I don't know why Brahm's not like attacking first and challenging Lucian or or challenging Neverglade Collector like either one I don't know doesn't really make any sense to me I just had my 2-4 block the 2-2 at the end of the line instead of before. Another three three drain in. Maybe even just not block either. Sometimes I see heart just needs warm spot. That's not great. It's Vladimir. It wasn't enough. GG's. All right, so went three and two. Super buff Brom. Uh, you know, kind of, kind of impossible to to get through with with these cards, uh, but that's okay. Um, yeah, they had, a, they had a 
quite a good hand, and I, I just couldn't go wide enough. I wish I didn't play that second Curse Keeper. Probably need to play Caretaker earlier, but I couldn't really get... You know, I wanted to have, like, Maokai or Lucian or um, Neverglade Collector, something in play to get more value out of the Caretaker, um, and we just didn't have the room to do any of that, and huge buff Braum. Definitely a big problem. But anyway, this is a pretty fun deck to play, pretty cool little deck of... You know, combining Maokai and Blighted Caretaker and Lucian and all that kind of stuff. All right, so there we go. That's Lucian Maokai. Now we got one more day. Uh, those of y'all watching this later on YouTube is just going to be later on in the day. You know, it's just going to be a few hours for y'all by the time this goes up. It's a few hours until we have uh, Targon and all of our Celestial stuff and everything. That's going to be really fun. All right, but that's it here for today for Lucian Maokai. Um, those y'all on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know what do you want to see from the new set? What kind of champion combinations from our old and new champions? All that kind of stuff. What do you want me to build um, during the week? Um, yeah, that's what we got. All right, thanks so much for watching some Lucian Maokai, and I'll see you for the next video.